Okay, I'm reloading. Big Dapacino here. This is show and tell, number 121. Uh, it's not going to probably be a long video. Hopefully, I don't start rambling. Uh, I was able to get some things last week because I knew I was going to be busy. The way this week had, was set up, I wasn't going to be able to go and uh, do what I wanted to do. I think the weather played a part. Either it was it was raining like crazy, it was too hot, so I had copped some stuff earlier while I was pretty much on vacation the week before and I didn't review it. Pretty much kept it on ice for a few days. Cause I already had videos done during during excuse me. Done during that time. I had two videos I released. On a peg hunting video, I think. Was it a peg hunting video? Yeah, I think it was a peg hunting video. The other one was a, a showcase video. I did the Tesla showcase video. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is Chantel. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Number 121. Let's look at what I got from this shopping center that I usually go to. Well, I was disappointed because one of the restaurants I usually like to go to, one of my favorite spots, closed down. My local spot. I could get my could get my sushi and seafood and stuff for the low. So that closed down. That kind of kind of put took the wind out my sails a little bit. But yeah, this COVID thing's been hard on some small businesses. So. Try to patronize small businesses when you can. Because <clears throat> you get some of the best services. I mean, some of the best service from the small business. Kind of more personable than the bigger stores. But let's continue. That shopping center I went to uh, Dollar Tree. And they didn't have too much there. They had pretty much old stuff in the Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Uh, <clears throat> section so I found this uh matchbox it's a uh skitster which is a, a fantasy cast and it's supposed to be a bobcat that's what it's supposed to be like a bobcat small construction industrial vehicle and um uh, this one has a fire department livery on it. I like collecting these, even though they I do have a special like bin where I put most of the stuff like this, this fantasy casting. But I mean, it looks good. I wish I had a big diorama or something. These would fit in excellent. I don't know if the scale is pretty much. It, it's small though. So maybe the scale is is not that bad. But anyway, what else do y'all like? Eh, that's amateur hour. Uh, I was able to let me see if this was 2021. It's 2020, but you know, stuff has been backed up, COVID and stuff like that. Uh, I was able to get this Fast and the Furious Fast Stars uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Track Star. Got this from the AutoZone which is right next to the Dollar Tree. And unfortunately, what I'm looking for, the hottest cars on here, is probably that Mitsubishi Eclipse, which has been released three times that I've never seen on the pegs. The Premium and the 92 Ford Mustang. Those are the cars everybody wants. I have examples of that that body style of the Mustang and premium and I think Johnny Lightning and Green Light. So I'm not that pressed about the Mustang as most people are because I have better castings from better premium companies but it'd be nice if I find it. Uh, the Dodge Charger the wide body not that keen on it. I'm, I'm more excited about having 
this and I have the premium version. But I like this one and it's the main the main line version because it's the original the one from the first movie. I think I put mine up. The uh second one, which is the uh I think was in the fourth movie. I think I put that one up. But um uh, Oh well. This I mean I can't wait to see it. It looked like it's got headlight details, grill, and lights. I've seen this car in public, I mean, in uh, real life a couple of times. So, it's pretty cool little Jeep, truck, SUV type thing. Uh, I was also able to go to... Oh, I didn't talk about the W Motors liking. Yeah, everybody has seen that. I got that. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Is that it? Yeah, it's here. Collecting dust in the corner. And this is a peg warmer now. So. At first, I got it earlier when it, um, it first came out. And I was excited. But, of course, that meant somebody took all of one set and four cars from the other set and left the liking <laughs> the hoarders man hoarders are the bane of my existence man i cannot stand hoarders what's worse than a hoarder is a thief and you'll see it especially in the diorama sets they'll they'll cut into the diorama sets or or a five pack or a 20 pack and get the car they want and people who worse than thieves are the people who uh buy the set then return it and then put cars from the main line guess they have sitting in, in their collection or whatever and back into the set so and they accept it they they go ahead to stores usually walmart they accept it and put it back on the uh pegs and instead of uh selling it for a reduced prices or whatever they they just i guess tape it up or glue it up whatever they do and uh put it back on the pegs and you looking and if you're not paying attention you buy that and you'll be very disappointed so <sighs> the pros and cons of this hobby man if it's not one thing it's another Everything goes on supply and demand. I look at other people's videos. Stuff I'm I'm looking for, I can't find. You go on other people's videos who live in other parts of the country. And it's sitting on the pegs. It's just sitting there on the pegs collecting dust. Sometimes you hope, you know, the network and, you know, I don't have no problem sending somebody a few dollars or something to pick something up. But, you know, you try to nurture those type of relationships so you'll be able to do that. You know, I guess all things, you know, you got to be patient sometimes. Maybe it'll come back around. Maybe they'll re-release it. Maybe you'll find it online for a reasonable price. I doubt it because what happens, especially with sets like this, is something popular. They'll sell one of these cars, like the, the Eclipse, which the price should go down because, like I said, it's the third time it's been released. So, hoping there's enough of them in circulation that the price will start going down. Like, kind of like what the uh, when they first did the Mercedes Benz 190E, the black one, people were selling that for like $30, $25 to $30. And uh, eventually, they started doing more. They did a red one. I think they did a red one. And they did the one with yeah, the red one with the Momo livery. And the green one with the uh, e e Ibotch, Ibotch, Ibotch uh, Springs livery. And I heard there's another black one now with the uh, Hot Wheels logo and Ghost kind of like 
embossed in it and um that comes with the uh kind of like a uh what do you call it like a uh a case a case to put your hot wheels in a collector's case they call it so hopefully you know with exclusive cars like that every i know everybody you want the cars to supply and demand that's why sometimes i just leave hot wheels premium alone and get something like this i go to hobby lobby i'd rather find them at target or walmart anytime i find a johnny lightning green light or definitely auto world i'm gonna pick them up i like to find auto world outside of uh hobby lobby either at target or walmart because they're cheaper sometimes like close to i think two or three dollars cheaper i think two dollars cheaper at target johnny lightning i think it's almost close to three dollars and some change uh cheaper if some some different uh variations even though i haven't found a collector 10 series at target which is the most sought after one usually but i um, found a couple auto worlds at hobby lobby which is also at that same uh complex they do have a game stop but they never had any die cast five below is also another store but i didn't check there because they're inconsistent with die cast and at that time i was pretty much just you know i had spent enough money to be honest on die cast so and so i got this auto world it's a sport utility auto world sport utility it's the 2018 jeep wrangler jk unlimited sport and this be my first auto world i think jeep i think i have a johnny lightning jeep i don't think i have another auto world jeep i have to check no i have a couple i think two jeeps i don't think i have this color Hopefully this is this is 2020 release five. Yeah, I don't think I had this one. I'm gonna have to look. It wouldn't be up here, but I don't think so. And this is one of. 10,240 units, I mean, or pieces sold worldwide. That's not, uh, that's not a lot, but it's not the most, you know, exclusive. And this is Chief Blue. So, that's all the world, as you can see. They get the older ones, usually, at, um, Hobby Lobby for some reason. Their inventory, they be like, whenever it runs out, that's when they put stuff up. But uh, for a while, my auto, my uh, Hobby Lobby didn't even carry Auto World. This is probably like the second time I've seen uh, Auto World there. I see Johnny Lightning Racing Champs all the time, even though Racing Champs is pretty much limited. And they kind of restricted the section where the die cast is at my Hobby Lobby location. I think they had close to, I think, I think like uh, maybe four, at least four rows, well, four to six rows. Maybe more uh, pegs where the uh, die cast was. Now it's been restricted. I think it's only four. I think they had six at first. Maybe six. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Maybe it was six to eight. And then they had like two rows up front 
for the slot races. They eliminated the slot races. I don't know what they did with them. I don't even see that section anymore. And so it's only four rows right now for diecast. And Johnny Lightning is in a row, I think. Johnny Lightning and All the World share a row. And I think they had um, the Ertl HD trucks with the Greenlight HD trucks. And then they had Racing Champs and World's Greatest Generation. And then they had Greenlight, I think. Something like that. And then they had stuff mixed up in some of the rows. They still had Maisto and what's her name? Not Maisto. Yeah. Yeah, Maisto. And they had uh, Majorette mixed in there somehow. But now it's just kits, uh, model kits dominating. So you into model kits. They got close to, I think, maybe like. I had like 10 rows of them bad boys now. It's crazy, man. I don't know, man. I guess I, I'm not going to complain because I do not want her Hobby Lobby to close because I remember how it was like before Hobby Lobby came and I had to go find stuff most mainly online. But, you know, it's kind of good that my... uh target location carries because wall walmart my wall, one walmart location inconsistent the other one you can tell that there's no collectors there and it's near my job so i really don't have time to go there and i know i'm rambling but um i probably need to go to the one near my job but it's Oh man, the traffic in DC is crazy. And most of the time, I do not feel like going there after work. Because I just want to get get back to uh, Virginia and just, you know, go to my, uh, go, in, go to my place and just, you know, unwind. I don't want to sit there and be messing around. After dealing with people, the public all day, you just want to go back to your uh, to your house, basically, as fast as you can. And I also was able to get this 1995 Ford Escort RS Cosworth from uh, Hobby Lobby 2. And this is a green light. 1995 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Been seeing this on a few people's pages, and the Rally Racer. I know uh, XLT Off Road Fair probably has a few examples of this, probably from different companies too. So, but I've been meaning to get one for a long time. So. <clears throat> Especially being that I play uh, Forza Motorsport Horizon. And these cars have been featured in a few games. And they're great performers on the virtual side. And plus I knew a family member who had one of these like in the early to mid 90s. Yeah. And even though it was basically stock where he had the four or five speed and the thing would move i'm not joking it would move so, it's pretty cool pretty cool and of course you can see the price of 99 <clears throat> and this i think is i'm not saying what these are this is 2020 though it's not a 2021 But I don't think I've seen this set, or at least not all of it. And that's pretty much it, man. That's Show and Tell number 20, 121. Um, I'll try to do 
I don't know when I'm going to do the odds and ends because I I didn't do the odds and ends for the last show and tell. So I'll probably combine those, that odds and ends with this, uh, the odds and ends for this one. And it will, it'll be better because it'll be more content. Sometimes I like to do it that way. But like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst diecast channel. Sometimes I have two pieces in a video. Sometimes I have 30. It all depends on how things go during the week and how my cash flow is. Because <laughs> this is an expensive hobby. We all have bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? It comes first. But I'm blessed to have some little disposable income so so i know a lot of people don't have that so and i can indulge my little hobby blow off my little steam do my little videos whatever for the random viewers i encourage you to subscribe and do different kinds of content uh you can have access to all the content and see you know what what kind of videos you like. There's different kinds of videos. I do peg hunting videos. Like these show and tell videos. Where they're in the packaging. Odds and ends when I take the cards out the packaging. Usually put them on the turntable. And get a closer look. View at them. I do showcase videos. Where I, I focus on a particular. Probably make a model. Probably from different. Probably from the same brand or different brands compare them and then i do challenge videos which is usually i do those from other channels where we pretty much do a theme for our collections and there it is so until next time i want to say peace and blessings this is big dappuccino signing out this has been show and tale number 121